Hey, Desiree, thank you for the 50 stars. Peace, chat. Peace. Oh, we live, ladies and gentlemen. We live. Oh, we live? Yeah, we live. We live. We live. What's going on, chat? So, man, I don't know what's what. Yo, this temporary block jump is getting on my nerves. Like, dead ass. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, jump on this for today and tomorrow. Out of that, we're gonna be on Twitch. Cause I, I can't deal with this. Mm -mm. Facebook gotta fix that one. Real for real. All right, so continue where we left off. So I can wait for a little bit. Desiree, once again, thank you for the um fifty stars. Um. Yeah, from um, what well, I can think of, like, uh, what's, what was I say? Well, I can think of, like, like, um, uh, how the way, like, I told, I said, I said yesterday, right? That I said yesterday that it was like. I wasn't gonna leave the stream until I find find a dominant of fire, uh, uh, dominant of fire, or no, we still haven't found a dominant of fire yet, but we happen to found um, uh, Clive's Clive's brother's killer. Jo uh, we happen to find Joshua's. Yo, what in the hell, man? We happened to find Joshua's killer. And sad to say that the killer itself just so happens to be uh, just happens to be Clive. And the purpose of that is because when he when he fi finally awoken, actually they both uh, oh oh woke up at the same time they both woke up at the same time they um they couldn't control themselves and joshua couldn't control his uh icon neither kid clive but the the most c crazy thing about it is every every icons in certain regions there's only one icon there's only one for some reason there's uh in uh the fire realm fire region there's two. It's two icon of fire. First, the history. So, 
We still looking for the diamond of fire. We're still in the mood to looking for the diamond of fire. But we we happen to find find a killer. That 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 was the main that was the main the, the main uh, purpose for the diamond of the fire. That's what we're looking for. But in the meantime, huh? We can check the uh, check the lore real quick. Have you come for a tale? Or perhaps. See what you got. There is a rather fascinating excerpt I've been meaning to show you. Yeah, I looked at this. What subject shall we consider today? Yeah, Sid's faithful scout who puts his legendary nose to, to work in tracking the, the movements of slavers, soldiers, and any other object of interest in the hideaway. The ever, agree, ever agreeable fellow only too gladly delving behind enemy lines if he can get a good story or two out of it. At Ephraim's awakening, a mysterious man that many believe to be a diamond of fire, Clive first saw him at Fiend's Gate on the night of the Imperial invasion. The years believed to be the diamond of the icon that killed his brother, but in Clive's eternal chagrin, he has proved otherwise. An Imperial bearer, uh, bearer turned deserter, who joined the forces with Sid to hunt down the second diamond of the fire. However, after being drawn into a fierce battle with Benedicta, dominant of Garuda, the power of the mysterious icon Ephraim awakes within him, and he discovered that the diamond of fire he has long been searching for, the one who killed his brother, is none other but himself. Yeah, so um this whole time we saw he be seeing the hooded man and stuff like that, or a flame a flame a fire looking guy, it was all it was basically his uh, his mind playing playing tricks on him and stuff like that. It's it's like the same as Garuda bringing all all the um the uh, the wing the wing beast coming out of her and stuff like that. Pause. Garuda, the warrior of the wind, who bandied the transform into during her ill fated flight from the empire. It takes the form of a fiery, fearful harpy. Summoning storms and tearing into the flesh of, the, of its prey, a hawk like talent. Its dominant is most often born among the descendants of the molten wind, the ancient tribe that once dwelt in the lands expanding the Strait of Alta, which is now the crystalline dominion. Lay of the land. The, the Battle of Bellinus Tor. That, was, that battle was crazy, too. The Battle of Bellinus Tor was a conflict fought between the Holy Empire of Sambuca and the King of Walud in the year 873. Having lost vital to, in the territory to Sambuca forces eight years earlier in the Battle of, of the Twin Realms, the Walodas launched an assault on an eponymous peak, looking to regain a foothold in the Imperial lands on the opposite side of the Strait of Alta. Both sides are fielding their icons. And in the ensuing showdown between Odin and Bahamut, and this is, they said there's more balance. They said there's more balance to this one. Odin and Bahamut, an entire Samarkar Legion was lost. Really? Hold on. No, wait, wait. And in the ensuing showdown between Odin and Bahamut, and it, an entire Samarka re Legion was lost. That's crazy. And the Walodas regained their, their outposts on, on Storm. I gotta look at that one again. Because the battle looked like it, it just happened too quick. Yeah, I gotta look at that one again. Benny. R.I.P. Benny. Commander of the, the kingdom of Walu's elite intelligence. 
and dominant of Garuda. After Clive took her in power out Karen Nor Norvet and the, and the keep was set to fire, she and her comrades were forced into making a hurried retreat, only to be set, set upon by bandits. What was left of Benedict's power ran amok, summoning forth the raging whirlwind within which she was at last to lose her life at the hands of Clive Rasta and his icon, Ifrit. Beyond the Sage, leader of the Dragoons, the most elite warriors of the Holy Empire of Sabrakar, who are the, the first to leap into the frame when the Empire finds herself under the threat, often literally. Eon is also the dominant of Muhammad, Warden of Light. May he the prince as well? Barnabas Thomer. You know what's crazy about his last name, Tharma, right? His last name, A Star. Uh, hi, how are you? I'm good, Star. How you, how you doing? How you doing? What you cooking today, Star? What you cooking today? All right, the thing about this, all right, Barnabas, Barnabas Tharma. Okay. He's also, this a, he got like a religious, a whole bunch of religious name on him. Um, Barnabas is, I uh, think, uh, is related to the in the Bible. I think it has something to do with Jesus, I believe. Um his last name Tharmer. Tharmer is the uh is a tight not a tight is a is a frost giant in the not Greek, uh not Greek mythology. It was, uh Norse mythology. Norse mythology Tharmer is a is a frost giant. And not only that he's also a dominant of Odin. Who's, who's also in the um, who's also in the Norse mythology? It's a guest star. Oh, I didn't read that. King of Valu and Diamond of Odin, the Warden of Darkness. At the Battle of Valen's Thor, he not only took personal command of the royal army, but rode to the fray himself, gall galloping through the air atop his six-legged steed, the Golden Bahamut, into a, a duel that shook his skies. Quitting. I'm good. I don't know. I don't know. I'm get. I'm. I'm playing on my PS5. I got yet. Oh, you got the PS5? Let's go. Let's go. That's what's up. The inscrutable landlord of Lost Wings Tavern, the leader of the village. Chat. We might be going back to playing Mario Kart soon. Attendant. Attendant to Margrace. Servant of a man who goes by the name Lord Margrace. Together they they travel across the twins to some unknown end. She won't get killed. I want some nachos. Uh, me too. I might go to the movies or uh, uh, give me some nachos one day. Attendant to the crown prince. I in command of the, of the Dragoons, the foremost fighting, fighting for the Holy Empire of Sampakar. His sword remains ever at the ready, at the ready should anyone be foolish enough to make an attempt on the life of his liege Lord Prince. Yeah, he's a prince. So, so, Dion, now he's a prince, where is he? He's the leader of the Dragoons. Hey, Star, you know something? There's a movie theater, right? Called um, Cinema Cafe. That that spot, like, not only uh, they they serve, like, popcorns and nachos and stuff, but they serve, like, lunch, dinner, like, burgers, uh, pizza. They serve, like, chicken tenders, all that. It's crazy. Let's see. Yeah. Second like commander of a low royal intelligence, intelligence, serving under Benedicta Harmon, killed by foot pads while attempting to evacuate the stricken Benedicta from the collapsed Care Norman. He got killed by the uh, bandits. Ooh. 
Lost Wing. The settlement. Okay, didn't we? A settlement located in central Samarkar on the northeastern edge of, of the Great Wood, having initially found prosperity as a soul power point for traveling. Traders, it, the traveling traders, it fell from favor when newer, better roads bypassed it. it eventually, fell off the map entirely. Presently, why the hell did they do that? Hey, hey. Get back to my spot. What are you doing? Come on back. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Eventually fell off the map entirely. Presently in obscurity serves as cover to mask its regoing regoing his status as a safe haven for bears who work in nearby vineyards for, for quitting. Elder Elderman in Coast Coke Spirit of Sid, while Cat Casco Galton Rouge, age in Lost Wing Cellars, provide the village with much needed income. Quentin's Tavern in Lost Wing it is very much the beating heart of the village. Not only do the villagers con congregate here to eat, to eat, drink, and make merry, it is also frequent by traveling tra traders seeking to load their wagons with Lost Wing's famous wine. Orabel Downs in the southwestern Samarkar, where the Great Wood ends, lie the secluded, secluded meadows of Orabel. Here, the soil is rich, rich in the climate temperature, temperate, while the slope terrain provides ample runoff for rain, making the location perfect for the for the growing of wine grass. Something the the residents of near, of near nearby Lost Wing take take very serious. Northern Valley, an expansive, expansive river valley that cuts through southern central Samarkar. The fortress of Karen Norman rises along its eastern edge. And this part of Samarkar, she's from Walu. What was she? What was she doing over there? I had attempted. Here once did a rage storm born of Adamus madness, a storm which, within which the icons Garuda and Ifrit clash from which only one would emerge. Their struggle saw the landscape raised as halts, farms, and villages that had stood for ages were in but mere moments struck from existence. Now all that remains is a blackened waste some, somehow even more lifeless than the blighted badland. Bellinus Tor. And for the highest of its peaks, Samarkar's Bellinus Tor is a region of rolling Grassy hills, slightly inland of where the where the Strait of Otha meets the Sea of Great. In the, eight, the year eight hundred seventy three, it was the site of a decisive battle in the kingdom in the kingdom of Walu's failed bid to regain a foothold in the storm. Look at my boy Odin over there, man. Kingdom of Walud, the sole surviving nation in Ash. Walud has its capital at Stone here, home to the mother crystal of Drake's spine. His ruler Barnabas, Darmer, dominant of Odin and warden of darkness, recently dispatched units of intelligence to storm with orders to scout ahead prior to a full scale invasion. Having ceded the territory to the Holy Empire of Samarkar in the Battle of the Twin Realms. In the year 865, the Walodis launched an attack on Bellinus Tor in 873 with the intent of regaining their lost foothold on the continent across the strait. Royal Knights of Walud. The Kingdom of Walud's main battle force is also known as the King's Guard. While they all Ultimately answered to King Barnabas, the knights order all order are usually issued by their Lord Commander. Royal intelligence intelligences 
especially unit led by Benedict Harmon, founder of Garuda, are a notable extension to this rule, important as they do directly to the king. The Royal Intelligence Service. In an, in an elite, an elite unit of the Royal Knights of Alu, led by Benedict the Harmon, who led clandestine incursions deep into the territory of enemy nations, unlike Walu's main battlefield forces, whose whose orders are issued, usually issued by their Kalar commander. The intelligence is reported directly to the king, or at least they did, until their dissolution in the aftermath of, of Sid. A class surprise attack on Kaer Norman. Alan, a mining settlement in the southern part of the continent of Ash, is known for the adamant, adamantite in produce it, it produces. The resource is highly prized for its unrivaled durability, but this is both a blessing and a curse, being as it has repeated attacks by marauding orcs over the years. Those previously, those previously well protected. The encroachment of the blight has seen citizens deserting, deserting in the droves, leaving, leaving the town ever more valuable to attack. Great breath. Look at that one. One of Valencia's five remaining mother crystals located on the volcanic isle known to the Iron Blood as Benin Lado. Leotla. Leotla. In the sea between Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom, though its occup occupation can historically be traced to the Duchy, control of the crystal was recently wrested from Rosaria's grasp by the Crusade, following a series of bitter conflicts. There it is, those who make their coin by stealing from others or from their courses. Mandatory is outlawed in every quarter of the realm, so those who turn turn to him must must make their beds far from the eyes of the co const I never heard this word before. Constabu constabulary. Constabulary. Often setting up camp in abandoned villages. Some brigands will elect to ban into uh, small armies. That together they might have the strength to make raids upon Towns, villages, and such of the food and funds they need to survive. Mysteries of the Realm. 